guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to Toy Notes with me. The game I have for you today I thought was super appropriate because we're coming into summertime and kids are getting out of school. So whether you're trying to do pre-K prep or just find a fun way to keep your kids learning and engaged in what they learned this past school year so they don't, you know, forget it all over the summer, you can start with a board game like Some Swamp. This one is supposed to be super popular. It's from one of my favorite companies, Learning Resources. They have some really good toys. I've always enjoyed playing with their stuff. And then this one's supposed to be an addition and subtraction type game. So if you're worried about math skills kind of waning over the summer, I know that can be a concern a lot of times because between June and beginning of September, lots is going on. And if they weren't, if they were just getting started in it or we're doing it repetitively and getting better at it, then you kind of want to keep those skills up, but no kid wants to do school in summertime. So this is a fun way for parents to get that snuck in. This is for two to four players, ages five and up. Although if you're starting pre-K prep and you're already working on addition and subtraction, then you might be able to play this with the child in that eight, that range. So let's go ahead and play it together and then we can see how tricky we can be in getting some learning resource fun. Well, let's learn how to play addition and subtraction with some swap. The instructions are here. And we've got a long game board. So the end of the game board here looks like this, the middle, and the finish side. So this is where we start. We've got some little characters in a baggie here. I'm going to use my scissors to get those out of there. Got little shapes there. And we have a die with plus or minus and numbers. So there's our education portion. Now, where did I put the instruction manual we saw? Did I hide it on myself under this game board? Sure did. Okay. So... The instructions are pretty simple. They're just one page. The inside is other alternative languages. It says choose a game piece and place it on start. So I want to be the little snail. Player who rolls the highest number goes first. First player rolls all three dice and creates a number sentence by placing the highest number die first the operation die second, and the smallest die last. Then add or subtract the numbers and move ahead the sum or difference. So the highest number, the operation, and the lowest number. So 2 minus 1 means I only get to move one space. Special spaces on the board, notice evens, odds. Evens are odds. If you land on one of these spaces, roll one number die, like this one. If you roll an even or odd number, as indicated by the space, move ahead that number of spaces. If you do not roll an even or odd number as indicated by the space you are on, wait until your next turn and try again. A number space, like this one or this one, if you land on a number space, roll the operation die. If you roll a plus, move ahead the number indicated on the space. And if you roll a minus, move back that number. So if I landed here, I'd have to roll this. And I get to move ahead three spaces instead of moving backwards three spaces. Shortcut. If you land on a space that says shortcut, follow the arrow as indicated on the board. Like that one there. Endless loop. So that's down here. This is the endless loop. All players enter the loop as the arrow on the board indicates. 
Players continue moving clockwise around the loop. If you land on the space marked exit, you can exit the loop on your next turn. So if you don't land on exit, you have to keep going around and around until you land on it. And then the first person here wins the game. Well, Some Swamp is an adorable game. I really like this one. Learning Resources did a good job. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of their other board games that are learning based. Um, like this one is addition and subtraction. There's some with words. So if you're concerned about your kid between the summer months losing some of the traction they had gained during the school year, this is a great way to introduce learning and keep those skills going through the summer months in a fun way. I thought this was adorable. I really liked this game and I can see this being a very popular game among parents and children since it is fun but it is educational and helping sharpen those basic math skills. So guys I'm going to be looking into more of these learning resources games through the summer here as well as a new series with subscription boxes so make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up as it's always appreciated and check us out at toynotes.com. But until next time, bye!